Hey guys, it's Ryan with Reaper Off-Road here to introduce to you our latest product for the 2020 and up Jeep Gladiator. So what we got here is a tailgate storage box. This is all aluminum construction, keeps you lightweight, it is super sturdy. So as far as install goes, it's not a overly complicated install, but it is a commitment project. It does involve cutting open your tailgate to get that additional storage space available, but it will reinforce and make your tailgate just as strong, if not stronger than it used to be. I figure it'd probably take you three hours to get the box in there and run all the lighting. For disassembly, step one, we're gonna open the tailgate and locate the two access covers. We're gonna use that T30 Torx bit to remove the eight screws from the large cover and four screws from the smaller cover. Go ahead and remove the covers and set them off to the side. Inside the rear camera access window, unhook the two wire clips that are holding the wire harness in place. Use a paint marker to mark the path to cut. Pictures in the install instructions show the cut profile. You'll be following along existing contours that are stamped into the gate. Use a straight edge to extend the line towards the bottom of the tailgate. You. Yeah. No turning back here. Use a cutoff tool to cut along the marked path. Safety glasses are required during this step. A face mask is recommended, especially if your tailgate has bed liner. You don't want to breathe that in. Be sure to hold your cutoff tool at the proper height so that you're only cutting through the thickness of the tailgate panel and avoiding all the wiring and mechanisms below. After this cut is complete, the tailgate panel will still be held in place by bracing within the tailgate. Mark another line through the center of the tailgate so that the bottom half of the panel can be removed. Cut along the line and remove the bottom section. We recommend using a shop vac to clear the debris before cutting so you can slide your hand without hurting yourself. Use a snap blade utility knife to cut along the foam. We find that the snap blade, it's just a flatter knife. It's easier to get underneath where you gotta get without pulling and prying. There are a few plastic pins along the cut path used to align the emblem on the back of the tailgate. Be sure to avoid these pins and any wiring in the area. It is not necessary to remove all of the foam. It will not interfere with the installation of the storage box. You're gonna mark and cut down that bottom leg of the latch bracket. Use the lowered profile at the center as a guide. All right, once the S-brace is cut free, you will need to undo any plastic wire clips that are connected to the brace. Disconnect the plugs as needed to free up the brace. Remove the S-brace and reconnect all the plugs. Use an angle grinder or file to clean up all sharp edges around everywhere that you've cut. And then use a shop vac to clear all debris and you're prepped for install. Now that the scary part's done, change your diaper. This product includes an accent plate that can be customized to the color of your choice or left as is. Install the accent plate behind the logo using two quarter inch nuts. Secure those with a 7 16 socket. Begin installing the light kit into the storage box. The light strips are pre-wired together. The light strip at the end of the wiring will be mounted at the right side of the lid. Feed the light through the tunnel, left to right. Peel back about an inch of adhesive strip. Do not remove entirely yet. Use two number four screws and two number four nuts to secure. Before tightening, go ahead and fully remove the paper from the adhesive strips and press the light in place. Tighten the number four hardware with a number one Phillips screwdriver and a quarter inch wrench. Next, we're gonna install the left side light strip following the same process as above. Tuck the excess wiring into the center tunnel of the lid. Next, we're gonna install the wired magnetic latch. There's two magnetic latches. One has a wire coming out of it, one does not. Install that to its mount on the left side of the lid. Peel the paper off the adhesive strip. Feed the wire through the window in the mount and connect it to the light wiring harness. Secure the magnetic latch with two number six screws. Tighten with a number two Phillips screwdriver. Feed the wiring harness down through the left side wire tunnel. Assemble the cable gland grommet around the wire, the little rubbery piece. We're gonna put that approximately four to five inches away from that left side wire tunnel. Assemble the cable gland housing around the grommet with the threaded end towards the plug end of the wire. Install the rubber washer around the cable gland threads and then install it into the hole in the back wall of the storage box. At the outside of the box, secure the cable gland with the supplied plastic nut. Make sure there is enough slack in the wiring for the lid to open without stressing the wiring. Install the lower magnetic latch without the wiring into the left side of the storage box. 
peel the paper off the adhesive strip, secure the magnetic latch using two number six screws, tighten with a number two Phillips screwdriver. Install the two latches to the lid. Be sure to use the seal around the latch body at the top side of the lid. Secure the latch from the inside of the lid with the supplied clip and screw. Check and adjust the clamping arm of the latch for a secure hold. Tighten the jam nut when the positioning is correct. We're gonna install the power wire harness, which is the 20 foot wire harness, to the vehicle's battery. The wiring will run down the inside of the passenger side fender liner and along the top right side of the frame. Secure the wiring as needed with zip ties. Continue running the wiring along the top right side until you reach the rear cross member above the spare tire. Continue above that cross member to the plastic cover at the center. From the top side with the tailgate open, depress the tab at the right side of that plastic cover and remove the cover. On the cover, find a location clear of plugs and wiring and drill a half inch hole. Press the plastic cover back into place and route the wire harness through that hole. Continue the wiring into the large opening at the bottom of the tailgate. All wiring should be double checked and secured fully once the box is fully installed. So you might have some slack still, you're gonna want some slack until you fully install. Set the tailgate box on the tailgate and connect the wiring harness. The harness connection will be hidden inside the tailgate in the next step, so make sure the lighting is functioning correctly before you continue. If you wired to an auxiliary switch, make sure that switch is set to on. Drop the box into the tailgate, align the front or top edge to the inside of the ridge on the plastic trim at the top of the tailgate. Center the box left to right by aligning between the latch openings. Make sure that you are not interfering with the latch openings. So now we got the box in place. We're gonna mark and pre-drill the hole locations to mount the box. You can use that paint marker to mark the locations, or you can choose to just drill through the holes. Just be sure to avoid damaging the box as you drill. Use a number 21 drill bit. Secure the box using 18 number 10 self-tapping screws and 18 number 10 washers. Use a number two Phillips screwdriver or a drill with a bit. You're done. Open, close, enjoy, stuff your box, enjoy it. Go camping or something.